Now, when the forest laws were enacted, a change came about, of course, disturbing lot of villagers. But whenever a change comes, there are few people who actually benefit from this change. And here, the beneficiaries were the trading communities, the new trading communities. These new trading communities started trading in the forest products. And since rubber was so much in demand, that is why the latex from the trees was collected. If I talk about trade in India of the forest products, it were the Adivasis who were involved in trading in India. They traded in elephants, hides and skins of the animals, horns, fibers, grasses, raisins, everything that they got from, these from the forest was traded by the Adivasi community because they were the people who lived in or around these forests and they were the ones who were fierce, who were not afraid of anything and they could penetrate deep into the forest. Now, the trading laws gave the right to various European trading firms, which means that the Indian communities which were trading in India in the forest products became jobless or rather their livelihood was in danger. So, whether it was the Korova, Karacha or the Yerukulla community of Kerala which traded now were considered as criminal communities because once they lost their livelihood, they opted for criminal activities. Other such old or primitive trading communities like Santhals, Orons, Gonds, they started working in the tea plantations in Assam. So, some of them took to criminal activities, some started working in tea plantation. So, there is a major transformation of the trading communities in India. Whereas in olden times, it were the Adivasis, the local inhabitants who traded and now it were the big registered European trading firms. That means the big crocodile has eaten away all the small fishes in the river. Well, when such a thing happens, people lose their livelihood, their day to day activity in the villages is in the forest is restricted. Naturally, there is bound to occur a rebellion. And the first such rebellion which occurred in India is the Bastar rebellion. Bastar is a place in the southernmost part of Chhattisgarh. And the various communities which lived in Bastar were the Maria, Maria, Gunds, Durvas and the Halbas. And the people of Bastar believed that forest was a gift to them by the God, by nature and nobody could actually own forest. It was open for everybody and anybody could collect berries, fuel or anything that was available in the forest was meant for everybody. It was no one's property. They worshipped the forest, the mountains, the rivers, that is all the things which are, of, which are a gift of nature. And they respected the boundaries of the forest that they had of each village. And if any villager wanted something from the other village forest, then he had to pay a small fees. Every house contributed a small grain for the watchman who looked after the forest. So it was a total contribution from each other for actually looking after the forest too. And the headman of the village took yearly meetings to discuss all the issues concerning the forest 